you doing? Welcome, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome back to GPTV. My name is Gavin. I had a nice Christmas and I had a nice New Year's. Apart from everybody being sick, as you can see, I'm still fucking dying. I'm still wrecked. I ate a lot of crap. I feel fat. Um, my kid had chicken pox. Uh, my other two just had the sniffles and the snots. And I had the sniffles and the snots. And coughs and stuff like that. And um, uh, we're all still kind of on edge. But it's too cold out to do this myself. So in today's video, I'm going to get my mechanic to replace a CV joint. Now there's a couple of little problems in the front of the stream. CV joint's gone and it's very wobbly as I'm driving. So I, I've changed, in one of the last videos I've changed the tie rods. I don't know what else is wrong. I've tried, I've looked into everything. I've jacked the car up and I've pulled around at different things. I even got my mechanic to look at it and he doesn't even know what's wrong. So I know that the CV joint's gone, I'm just gonna fix this and then see where it goes from there. Um, there could be a few other little things wrong with it, I don't know. Um, there might be something else wrong with the, the back, as in one of the hubs might be gone. Again, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, I never claim to be a mechanic. I can just do certain little things. Now I have done CV joints before. Um, I've done them on my old EG Civic that I had. And um, they're not that hard to do. But when it's cold and you're tired from Christmas and you feel fat and you can't bend down and tie your own shoes, then just get somebody else to do it. And it's just much easier. And plus, I don't have a ball joint splitter and I need a ball joint splitter to... I need a ball joint splitter to split the uh, the, the, the lower control arm uh, from the hub assembly. So, I don't have one of them. I'm not going off buying one to kneel down in the freezing cold. And it'll probably rain on me as well. So I'm not buying one to do all that when I can just pay my mechanic like 50 quid and here, there, it's done. So, um, that's what's happening today. I'm going off now to get this get this done and then I'm going to have to walk home. Okay, apparently this is my loaner. I didn't want one, but I'm getting one. Ugh, ugh, God. Oh, it's a fucking Cleo. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it smells like a mechanic's car. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I need two hands. God, look at the seatbelt. Oh, uh, 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 I'm not putting that on. <laughs> God, this is disgusting. What? I don't even know what that is. What's that? Ugh, I'm afraid to touch it. What the? F Why is there a lump on the steering wheel? Is that a lump of dirt? Jesus. Ugh, feels. I'm afraid to touch this. Ugh. Oh God, chewing gum. It's filthy. Well, it's not filthy, but everything that you touch is filthy. Everything here is clean. To sit in, that's all clean. It's clean. But to touch the steering wheel, and to touch the gear knob, I don't want to. I put the steering wheel seatbelt on. No!
apparently the CV joint I got there's basically this shaft won't fit into the CV joint that I got there's too many splines on this shaft and this is the this is the inner that one is perfect but this is the inner the inner CV joint and this is the outer CV joint and the CV joint that I got doesn't fit onto this spline um, by one tooth yes one tooth I think this has 29 uh, splines on it and the CV joint I got only has 28 god damn Japanese cars why can't they just make one part to fit all their cars it'd be brilliant so the inner the inner CV shaft slots in there this outer CV goes here and it goes into that you see this is the problem this is the problem with buying Japanese parts in Ireland um, the, the CV joint that I got it said on it that it was for a Honda Stream but it also said on it that it's for a Honda Civic FD shape now I already got a set of tie rods for a Honda Civic FD thinking that they would fit on the Honda Stream and they don't so not all the parts from an FD Civic is the same as the Honda Stream RN6 um, I'm gonna go down to a different shop now he breaks all Japanese cars so he he, um, he breaks Japanese cars and I'm gonna go down to him and see can I get I won't be able to get a CV I'm gonna have to get a whole axle or something like that anyway <sighs> wish me luck I really hope <laughs> I really hope I get this drive shaft down here so that we can we can get the the Honda Stream back on the road because we don't have any other vehicles we only have the Honda Stream okay I have my Honda Prelude but that's not road legal it doesn't have an NCT it doesn't have tax it's not ready to drive because it's full of rust um, so I really hope I get this working because I've no other vehicle I've no other car to drive nothing and we have kids and we have schools we have school we have all that type of stuff that we have to do so hopefully we get something sorted okay so that garage uh, the that, that garage doesn't exist anymore it hasn't existed in around about 10 years apparently I don't know why he sent me down to that garage but anyway I'm, I'm after ringing a bunch of different places and um, I'm trying to find one they're all going on a lunch now because it's 25 past 1 and they're all telling me to ring them back at 2 o'clock because it's lunch time so I'm heading towards one of them now let's just hope fingers crossed that they have something that I can just get my car back on the road today can't afford to take a day off with this car uh, it has to it has to work all the time it's 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 the daily driver it has to work um, uh, we'll see how it goes when I get there okay so uh, I couldn't find one uh, I f well I found a drive shaft okay after a lot a lot of searching I found a drive shaft um, in Enfield it's about an hour or so away and um, I don't have the time to go down there now and then by the time I get back the garage will be closed and you know there's no point so I'm just gonna um, the, the lad in the the lad in the dismantlers said that he would uh, bring bring a home with him so all I have to drive is about 20 miles or so and um, I could be able to pick it up from his house um, I've already paid for it it's costing me 150 euro for a drive shaft where a brand new drive shaft would cost me 250 euro so I'm saving about 100 euro I'm, I'm buying a brand new one and that's not even Honda brand new that's just brand new just spurious um, anyway so I'm gonna end the video here um, and it'll just have to go into a part two because I won't be able to get anything done until probably tomorrow um, so that's about it, so we'll talk to you later.